As a UX designer, when you set up the project, one of the important thing is to create user flows in the early stages, which outlines the hierarchical structure of the website or application, and define the relationship between different sections and pages. Obviously, it is time-consuming process when you design each shape and connector manually. But what if I show you an easy way to make it in just 5 seconds by using eDramax AI Assistant. Open eDramax AI tab, select flowchart, enter a prompt, and launch. That's it. Wondershare eDramax simplifies the process of creating exclusive and visually stunning diagram with its extensive range of resources. It offers over 280 basic diagram templates, more than 10,000 user shared diagrams, and a library of over 20 million vector symbols. eDramax AI empowers professionals, students, teachers, and designers to maximize productivity, simplify workflows, enhance skills, and create engaging content effortlessly. But today we will create a user flow diagram for our app design as a UX designer. Let's dive straight in. Once you download and install eDramax, you will see the interface like this. By the way, eDramax is available for Windows, MacOS, Linux, and online. I will put the links in the description so you can download from there. Okay, so here are some presets for different types of diagrams and can definitely create the blank one. Here below are some video tutorials which you can learn from here also. On the left side panel, we can find a wide variety of diagram types from simple flowcharts to professional detail engineering circuits. Under each diagram category, there are different diagram types and you can use these pre-built diagrams immediately. You can see there are lots of categories for businesses like management, marketing, strategy and planning, for software and database, for engineering. Similarly, there are many templates available for infographics, cards, and UI UX. You can also search here for anything you want, but today we'll create a user flow diagram. For that, we will use eDramax AI Assistant in the store, and then we will customize it. So I will click on this. Here you can select any tab depending on what you want to create. But this time I will select the flowchart and will enter a prompt like user flow for food delivery app and launch. It will take few seconds and will generate a diagram. If you don't like the result, you can regenerate multiple times. So for now this is just fine. Let's increase the size first and align it in the middle. Okay, this is the first look of the diagram. You can directly change the design style from here also. But now we will edit it manually. This connector is overlapping the rectangle because I dragged it. Before editing, let's talk about user flow and this diagram. Well, user flow is a visual representation or a diagram that illustrates the path a user takes to accomplish a specific task or a goal within a website or application. It outlines the sequence of steps, interactions, and decision point that a user encounters while navigating through the interface. So there are a lot of shapes and arrows, but what we need to know is that this is really a diagram which shows a path and step that the user might take from the entry to the end. So every application has their entry point or starting point which means the user opens or enters in the app. It commonly represents by the circle, actually that can be totally up to you how you build them. But there are some industry standards that I want to encourage you to stick with. Then the next one is the rectangle and it is the most common shape in every user flow diagram. It can represent different screens or pages. It can be a flat rectangle or a rounded corner rectangle or other similar shape. It's up to you. The next one is the diamond. This is the point in the flow where the user must make a decision. Whether it can be yes or no. It can be approved or not. Correct or not correct. The next thing that I want to talk about is these lines and arrows. Actually, these lines in general lead a user from one stage to another or from one screen to another. In this case, if the user makes the card empty, this arrow will take the user to choose the restaurant bag. If no, it will take the user forward to proceed to checkout. Then the next step is if the user does not select any payment method, this arrow will take the user back to this stage. and. If yes, the next stage will be confirm order and then they will place the order which is the closing stage and again represented by a circle. 
it is okay if you want to use this simple diagram but if you want to add some additional stages or pages or want to make it more stylized or more clear then you need to edit it according to your needs by following some easy steps and that's what i'm going to do first of all i would like to change this shape to a proper circle so click on replace and here you can select any shape that you want to replace i'm going to replace it with a circle just click that and you can see how easy it is to use this tool you don't need to recreate from scratch similarly will be the ending or closing stage of the diagram then i want to change this rectangle shape to a rounded rectangle shape like this similarly i will do all of these Then we have this diamond shape which is fine but I want to replace these both diamonds with diamond to make the same size like this. Now if you select all these objects you will be able to see a small tab here. This will give you some small options like if you click on select then you can work on all shapes and connector at the same time. So shapes and here is the style panel. I want to change the stroke color. And the stroke size to two point so the style is applied in all the shapes now i want to change the color of the entry and closing stage to this light purple color then these rectangle shapes should be in that light green color and these diamonds should be in that light yellow color so now we can identify different stages very quickly this line is very close to these shapes and i need to make some more space here now we will work on these connectors so select all the objects again select option this time connectors the stroke size should be two points here you can see these two arrows are connected in the same position i want to make it connect to the other side to see the difference like this now another thing that i want to do here is to add a connector point to the starting of of these arrows to make it more clear to understand so i will select the arrow and we'll give it this rounded point at the beginning now we can see the difference clearly that's from where the arrow started and where it connected so similarly we would do in all arrows So if you notice these arrows which are taking the user back are the same exactly like these other arrows. So for more clarity we need to make the line type to the dash line. Now it's looking a little bit more clear. And I want to make the corner a little rounded like this. Great. Now these yes and no are just the plain text so I want to make a placeholder for it to make it clearly visible. So go to insert. Under the shape there are lots of shapes that we can insert. I will use the circle but will make it very small like this. The stroke of this circle also should be two point. And I will place it right here. So it is very easy to insert text inside any shape in this tool. Just double click and write yes. I will remove this one now. For these other yes and no text, I will copy and paste this shape by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V and will remove these other texts. So our diagram is about to ready. We have the starting point and the ending point. We have these different pages or screens. 
and a decision stage and we have some solid lines and these dashes lines which give a clear instruction to the user. Once you complete your diagram and want to remove this extra space, just right click and fit to drawing. This was a dummy user flow diagram for a user delivery app. So if you want to connect any stage to another, that is just simple. Drag this point and connect to the other shape in this way. And if you want to add another shape, click on this arrow to quick access to different shapes that you can easily add in this way. And if you continuously add shapes in your diagram, it will automatically increase the size of the artboard. So we have created this diagram with the help of eDramax AI Assistant. Then we edited the style, the color, and the font manually. But there is another interesting option here, and that is one-click edit, where you can access different design style quickly Then you can change the font style at once in all the diagram shapes. Similarly, you can change the color of the shapes in the diagram at once. Look, if I change the diamond color, you can see the color is applied in both the diamonds. Then the rectangle and similarly on the circle. Then you can also change the line color The next option here is the unify paragraph where you can edit your text. Then the fourth option is smart analysis. This will analyze your design and fix if there are any alignment and color issue in your design. So once you make changes, then apply it to your design. But I'm going with my own design. If we talk about its interface, it feels like an office suite seamlessly blending the familiarity of productivity tools with an intuitive design that enhances efficiency and workflow. So it's time to export this diagram. Go to File. Here you can save your file. Here you can Import. And this is the Export option. You can export PDF to MS Word Excel, PowerPoint, SVG, Visio, and EPS. But here I need only the image. So select the disk where you want to save it. I will rename it as user flow diagram. Then select the image format here. I will choose JPEG. Select quality. Ultra HD is fine. No watermark and export. That's it. So, for creating different types of stunning diagrams and visual representation, whether you are a student, educator, or professional, eDramax is the most helpful option. So, please download, the link is given in the description, and share your thoughts about Wondershare eDramax in the comment section. Thanks for watching, I will see you in the next video.